Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another vlog. Thought I'd pick up the camera and vlog today. No idea where this vlog is going. It's Sunday. We slept in today. Had like a basically lazy, chill start to our day. I self-tanned the other day, so I have to wash off my tan. I think I've gotten pretty good with self-tanner. I'm very particular about how it looks. Like I want it to look natural, especially around the hands. And I feel like it came out pretty good. I used the Bondi Sands here to grab it. It's their new Technicolor, which mine tan had something similar in concept and a few other brands where you have like different undertones to the tan. This one says for medium skin tones, if you want like a deep olive tone, olive tone so it like kind of counteracts certain colors so you get a result that you want. I got the one for medium because I wanted a deeper tan. They do have a blue one I want to try next after I use this up. That one's more so for like lighter skin tones like I am. So I want to try that one next and see, but I haven't washed it off yet. So this is the color that it is right now. And I'm pretty happy with it, so we'll see once it washes off. I just, I can't stand, like I had a horrible night's rest last night because I cannot stand how self-tanner smells. Like all I could smell the whole night is the freaking self-tanner. It just smells so bad, I don't know how people do it. But I wanted a little bit of color, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna self, this is why I don't, I can't commit to self-tanner because I can't stand how it smells, but then I love the results. So I do it about like, I'd say like once a month if I'm being honest. I'll do it about once a month. I also wanted to share about some products Kopari sent me. There was like no obligation to post or anything like that, but they reached out and asked if they can send me some products to try. I tried their sun shield, like the glow oil. It's like an oil and SPF all in one. And I love it during the summertime because you get the benefits of SPF and then it leaves your skin all nice and glowy. So they sent a few other things. Let me show you because I use some of them for self tanning or like to prep for self tanning. I like my. I got some new nibble covers and I just kept seeing ads for like these larger ones and I found these on Amazon. They're from the brand Neat but I wanted to try them because traditional covers are like very small and you can always see them through a shirt. These are amazing because they're super thin and they kind of cover the whole area so you all, you can't really see them. You might be able to see them a little bit if your shirt is super thin. The only thing is that they don't offer support. So if you need support, they're not going to give you that. But if you have a shirt that you want to wear and you want to cover that area, um, I feel like these are really nice. But these are the products that Kopari sent me. And then there's another one in the shower, like an exfoliating scrub. It's this one. I think all the products have like a base of coconut that's kind of like their thing. I'm not 100% sure. I'd say they're a very good brand when it comes to body care. I can't speak for their other range of products but I do like their body care specifically so this is their exfoliating scrub crush scrub oh, it smells so good and it exfoliates but at the same time it leaves a film on your skin my husband tried it he <laughs> thought it was a face wash and he's like why is this not coming off and I'm like that says scrub and it leaves like a moisturizing film so it kind of like exfoliates your skin at the same time while leaving it moisturized it's a very interesting formula i like it and then this i love this is a tahitian vanilla hey chai but it's their restore body butter and in the scent tahitian vanilla it's just such it's not like a summer scent it's a literally warm vanilla scents like it's not too sweet and they do have refills so I like that you can like take this out and, and refill it but I love the scent very moisturizing great formula I'm gonna use it today when I get out of the shower and I like to use this first and then I like to go in with their aura body oil here this one has 24 karat gold flakes I don't know if you guys can see it. It is such a luxurious body oil. If I were to recommend anything from what they sent me, I would probably say try the body oil. It leaves your skin so supple and soft, like baby soft. That's shy. She's so nosy. She just... Uh, cats are naturally curious. So for me personally, at least in my experience, I can't speak for anybody else's experience, but it left my skin super soft and like baby soft. And it wasn't like greasy or anything like that. It was just like literally baby soft. So I would for sure 100% buy this again because right when you get out of the shower, you apply, it has a really great scent as well. It just smells really nice, especially when you pair it with the body butter. I'm gonna try it after I get out of the shower. But I just kind of wanted to quickly share about them before I hopped into the shower. So they did send these to me. 
not a paid sponsorship or anything like that. I was just really excited to try out some of their products since I have some of them. And they reached out and I was like, yeah, sure, absolutely. So they did give me a code as well, which I thought was really nice. Um, and it is an affiliate code. So the way affiliate codes work is that if you purchase something through my affiliate code, I make a small commission on that, kind of like a recommendation system. That's how that works. So I'll leave it down below. It's uh, it's I'll, I forgot what it was, but it's like Tosh 15 or 15 Tosh. They originally gave me one, I think it was like Tosh 15, but they said that they found it on a coupon code website. And I was like, hmm, I don't know how that happened. I just got the code and I made a reels on it and then a YouTube shorts and then they emailed me saying, hey, we found your code on the coupon code website. So I don't know if somebody uploaded there or what happened there. So they gave me a new code. So I'll leave it down below if you guys are interested. I, I generally do think Kopari is a great brand. I know everybody kind of has their own things, but this is my review of what they sent me. And I would recommend it to you guys personally. It's so cold, I can't stand it. This shower was not enjoyable at all. My husband took a shower first. He didn't know I was going to want to take a shower too. So he was just basking in all that hot water. So when it came time for me to take a shower, it was not that enjoyable, let me tell you. So I just like rinsed off real quick and like that's the thing with the RV you don't have a large water tank so it kind of like heats up the tank you use up the hot water then you gotta wait until the next batch heats up um, but whatever it's like first world problems not a big deal I have some new skincare this might be like a trying new beauty products kind of video maybe vlog I don't know but I have some new skincare that I got through the Amazon beauty program in every single video I write a disclaimer that some of the beauty products that I use from Amazon were sent to me via the program or like were paid for via the program a lot of them I do by myself as well so it's kind of like half and half but recently what I picked up were some Sunday Riley products when it comes to skincare I kind of already know what it is that I look for for my skin I know my skin type I know what ingredients I usually look for but I also like to try new things for example moisturizers I love trying moisturizers so long as they as they suit my skin type and kind of have what I'm looking for but I picked up the CEO glow of vitamin C and turmeric turmeric face oil this is like an oldie but a goodie for a lot of people and i really like it i obviously with vitamin c you know you kind of have to be using it for a, a while to kind of see the benefits but so far i do like it it is like an oily oil but it also does seep into the skin like it doesn't just sit on top and then i'm just gonna go in with the ceo afterglow i got a little one of this because i wasn't sure how i would like it and i'm glad i got the little one because i don't like the smell i like how it works i basically all out use it all up but I don't like the smell of the neroli like it really throws me off it goes away but I really do not like the smell of the neroli I love this ice one I actually used it at my sister's first when I was staying with her over the summer and I loved it so much it's like a thick hydrating one so I just ended up finally picking it up for myself through the beauty program this CEO glow one I wasn't crazy about. I tried the original one for this uh, a few years ago when we still lived in our house and I loved that one so much. I think Alex Garza recommended it and I ended up buying it and trying it and I fell in love with it. So I was like, oh, let me try this new formulated one. Um, I love the formula, but I just hate the smell. So that's why I didn't repurchase it. I forgot. I feel like I picked up another moisturizer. Or maybe I didn't. I do need a moisturizer though. Okay, but I'm gonna try these this combo right here and show you guys how I use it personally for this gorgeousness right here it's like a whipped oh, it's just I don't know what it is I'm not usually one that likes like sweet cookie butter type scents this one's not like cookie butter but it's just it's like a warm vanilla it just smells so nice I don't know what it is but I love it me personally I've been really enjoying scents lately. I'm one that was like very particular about scents, but now I'm like slathering myself in all this goodness. I don't know, I feel like perfume reviews and all that got to me and I started kind of exploring. It's just like super hydrating, especially right now in the winter time. I deal with dryness like crazy, so these products are a must. As soon as I get out of the shower and then also like throughout the week, and then I'll go in with the oil, give it a good shake because the flakes kind of settle. I love that it has a pump. I love the glass bottle. And then this is where the magic happens. Look at this. It does sink in and it doesn't stay like greasy and oily, but man, this stuff is so good. They did a really good job. I think, I genuinely think they did a really good job. Like I love, love this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna let that sink in and I'm gonna do the rest of my body. 
put on some clothes and I'll show you guys the self tan and then we're gonna move on to this vlog. Here's what the self tan looks like. Like just like a nice natural, it almost looks like I just came from vacation kind of tan and that's exactly what I'm looking for when I self tan at home. I wanted to demonstrate the covers quickly so with a top like this, it's double lined, it did have padding, I took out the padding and usually without the padding, I still feel like I can see something so I like to wear covers but the smaller ones like I said usually you can see the outline of them with these they're a lot larger and the edges are so thin that they just kind of like it's almost like your own skin I would if you're looking for like really good covers I would highly recommend those and they do come in a few different shades as well I think I'm gonna do my nails finally in today's video I was gonna do it in the DIY beauty vlog that I did and I never got around to it because that video was so long so I think I'm gonna finally do them today because they need to be done. My daughter's watching Super Books, so you can hear it in the background, but I just blow dried my hair with a new hair dryer that was sent to me from Melody Susie. I'm gonna do a dedicated video on it. It is gonna be a paid collaboration, but I'm just kinda like testing it out and doing hair routines with it. And so far, I really like it, so I'm really excited to share. It's using this and a round brush like this. So I'm really excited to share about that, but this is the hair, you get like that volume at the roots it's nice and bouncy this method is really great if you have shorter finer thinner hair and you really want that volume at the roots then stay tuned for that video but do you guys still see that like glow on my skin i'm telling you that oil leaves your skin feeling so baby soft like it doesn't feel greasy but it just feels baby soft ah oh, i love it this smells so nice another thing that i've been really liking doing is spraying perfume like right after I apply body oils or lotions kind of to make it last longer. I actually got the idea from Instagram and I recently purchased the Leda the 22 Auris. I'm glad I didn't buy the vanilla one because a few people DM'd me and said they didn't like that one at all. Just spray it on like my wrists and right here kind of where I have some of that lotion and smells so good for initially my first impression is it has like a summer scent to it similar to like sol de janeiro bum bum cream but as it settles in and wears throughout the day it has like this creamy warmth to it with like subtle hints of floral so if you like everything that i just described then you guys will probably really like this and a few people down me and said that they love this and i can see why it just smells so creamy and like warm but then like very subtle hints of floral we got the coffee this is not the color I usually like my coffee. I had a little bit too much half and half, but I had one packet left of the, gosh, I can't remember what it's called. It's Vietnamese coffee with lavender. It tastes really good iced, but um, I ain't about to be drinking iced right now. I'm gonna put that to the side, cover it so it doesn't kind of get cold, and we're gonna start on the nail. I want to talk about what products I use and then kind of go through the method that I have been loving. There are two methods that I love, the Gel X method, which is where you take a full cover tip, like these from BT Art Box, and these are like a soft gel type tip. You apply them similar to press-ons where you adhere it to your natural nail, but instead of using nail glue, for like the ones that you use for press-ons, use a glue gel, which is a gel product that needs to be cured. So you apply that to the underside of the nail tip adhere it to your natural nail and then while holding it down you cure it and then you're left with like really great results you don't have to worry about form apex any of that designs you can choose from a few different designs and it lasts up to a month depending on prep and things like that and then the other method that i love which is a lot more tedious and more work is the builder gel method which is kind of what i have going on right now and the reason why i like this method is because it's a lot easier for me to do fills i feel like it looks a lot more natural as it grows out it's a lot more flush with my cuticle even though you can get a pretty flush look with the nail tips i just feel like i'm able to achieve a more natural result with builder gel so what builder gel is it's it's a gel product as well and it can come in tubes like this i have this clear one from savvy land and then i have this nude beige one right here which is what i have on my nails and this one's a little bit thicker viscosity and they're thicker than like gel nail polish products i was going to show you guys but here let me show this one so they're a lot thicker Depending, you can get builder gel in a bottle, which is a little bit thinner, but just in general, they're thicker consistency than gel products. And you apply it to your natural nail. You can use nail forms, which is what I did. These right here. 
and you can extend your natural nail using nail nail forms or you can just apply it to your natural nail to strengthen your natural nail and then when you cure it it becomes almost like an acrylic it becomes a hard gel product and I love this method it's definitely a lot more tedious because you kind of have to build an apex and then you have to smooth it out if you have any lumps and bumps you have to shape it whereas with the nail tips you don't really have to worry about any of that because the nail tip kind of has you covered but I just prefer the results and then once my nails grow out I'll just kind of clean up the cuticles once again and then go in with a rubber base to fill in where it grew out and then use some builder gel over that to kind of create a new overlay layer. And that's essentially how I do fills. My nails haven't grown out as much to show you how to do a fill, but there is one nail that I want to fix. This pinky one right here, it's kind of cracking on the side. You can see there's like a little crack, so my hair snags on it, so I might redo this one. That way I can show you how to apply builder gel to like a bare nail and how to extend the natural nail as well so i'm thinking to do that and then do a nail design before i go ahead and get started let me quickly talk about the nail products that i use the nail tools all of that i get everything from amazon i just feel like amazon has a really great selection for a really good price you can read the reviews things like that i have a nail lamp here and this is you're going to need to cure gel products fully cure them there are so many different kinds i do have a nails list on my amazon storefront which i can link so you guys can directly shop the products that i have but at the end of the day you know you make the choice that's best for you i do have some uv gloves from melody Susie, and these are just kind of like extra protection you put them on to make sure that your hands are not your fingers are kind of like not really being penetrated by the uv light and for nail tools i have a melody Susie nail drill this is a basic beginner's one it just has a few settings it has the one where you can change the direction and then the speed so you can increase it or make it faster or slower and this one did come with drill bits which i use most of these for cuticle prep kind of to do like a dry manicure of sorts i'll use this cylindrical one here to push back the cuticle and then i'll go in with one of these three here this ballpoint tip one is nice if you have like calluses or any dry skin you use it on the skin so these you can use on nail plate these do not use on the nails these are meant mainly for the cuticle if you're not too familiar with cuticle work using drill bits, I would say stick to basic cuticle prep where you kind of like push them back with a tool like this. And then you can go in and clip any excess cuticle if you need to. Just to kind of clean them up. You don't want your cuticles to be over too overgrown onto your nail plate where if you apply gel product over it, it can cause lifting. So you want to make sure that your nail plate is free of any cuticle overgrowth, things like that. I also have these drill bits right here, also from Melody Susie, and they fit the drill that I have. I have these two which are great for removing hard gel products. They're a lot more coarse so they get rid of product really quickly. You just have to be careful not to get it on the skin or anything like that because they can snag the skin. And then I have this one here. The set did come with a drill bit like this, like a sanding bit, but this one is a lot more precise so I like this one a whole lot more than the one that came in the kit and it comes with a bunch of like extras sanding bits as well so i prefer this one over this one that's why i got it so that's kind of like what i have you can use a hand file but sometimes a sanding bit like this just makes it work a lot faster and easier i also have lint free pads that i'm going to use with some isopropyl alcohol i put some isopropyl alcohol in a little spray bottle like this so i could just spray it on the fingernails get rid of any excess oils and dust and just kind of wipe them with a lint free cloth so that's kind of what i have for cuticle prep and things of that nature when it comes to gel products and stuff that's going to go on my actual nails i have the young nails protein bond this is a not a gel product so it's an air dry formula you don't have to cure it so once you do your cuticle work you go in with some isopropyl alcohol wipe down the nail plate to make sure it's free of any excess oils things like that and then this is when you want to go in with the protein bond this helps with extra adhesion if you're going to be doing any hard gel products, any tips, acrylics, things like that. And this does help me personally. It's a really great product, so I love having it in my collection. I've tried a few different kinds, and this one for me is just one of the better ones, so I just stick to that. So once you have that on and it air dries, that's when you can start working on doing a nail extension and applying your gel products, like your base coat, your gel color, whatever it is that you choose, and then your top coat. So it's kind of like the process. For builder gel, the process is a little bit different, and I'll kind of show you what it is that I do personally. I'm going to be using the products from the brand In Hype. I mentioned them in a previous video. I just really like them. I especially love the rubber base. So it's not like your typical base coat. It's almost like a builder in a bottle. You can actually use this on your natural nail to strengthen your natural nail. 
and it adds a tint. I have mine in shade chiffon as like a really nice nude tint. And when you cure it, it almost cures into like a harder gel. So I really love it. My cat's like playing with the shade. So that's a little clinky noise that you hear. But love this product here, even on its own without like anything else. I feel like it really helps to add strength. And it is a base coat. After this, you can apply gel product if you wanted to or just go in with a top coat and you're good to go. So this is definitely one of my favorites that I discovered last year. Um, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove this nail right here and i'm not going to remove it all the way down to my natural nail this is another thing i like about the builder gel extension method is i don't feel like i'm constantly removing product all the way down to my natural nail my sister-in-law she does builder gel as well i believe or something of the sorts and she does start fresh like her nail girl that does her nails starts fresh every single time so i think it's personal preference and depends on nail tech it's definitely a lot more time consuming if you kind of take it off i prefer not to take it down all the way to my natural nail because i feel like that way i'm not really touching my natural nail and my natural nail is staying intact so i'm going to remove this is just a few layers of builder gel if i had gel product overlay on it like let's say i had a gel coat and then a gel top coat that is when I would go in with those rougher drill bits that I showed you guys like these right here but because this is just builder gel I'm going to go in with the softer sanding bit here and just kind of like remove a couple of layers until I get to almost my natural nail and I don't have a fan I wish I had a fan I was looking for one on Amazon but I don't know. I definitely have to invest in one because you don't really want to be breathing like all this stuff in. So they're so expensive. I'm like, my goodness, it's a fan and they're like $50. You, and then you see one for like $20 and you think like, well, it's, this is the only one that's $20. Is it any good? I don't know. So I'm kind of like reluctant. I'm kind of just reading reviews and seeing which one I want to settle on. I'm telling you, if this cat spills my coffee, it's like a game over. It's going to go everywhere. Chai, look at her. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Hey. <laughs> She's like, what? You caught me. How did you see me? How did you see me? I know that I said I was going to start the snail all over again, but I'm actually going to leave it. There are a few areas where I feel like I need a little bit more builder gel. So I'm going to go in with a rubber base coat to kind of make them a little bit more smooth before I apply any gel products. But first, I want to go in and kind of just shake them up just a little bit. That they're smoothed out and shaped to how I like them. I'm going to grab my isopropyl alcohol and kind of spritz all of the nails and then use a lint free wipe you can use a brush as well to get rid of that dust you don't want any dust lingering in the cuticles or anything like that or on the nail bed nail plate and then this also helps to get rid of any excess oils and now your nails are ready for either a fill or gel products so i'm going to put on my gloves i'm not going to use a protein bond today because i do already have builder gel on them this is a product that i would use before i go in with the rubber base gel so this goes in right before this for me personally and just helps with extra adhesion like i said right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go straight in with the rubber base so if i was doing a fill let's say my nail grew out like up to here i would take this rubber base and do a fill right in there and then just kind of very do like a light layer bring it up to the cuticle so that it blends and then cure it. You can add builder gel if you want to strengthen it some more and add an apex, things like that. Today I'm just going to add one layer of rubber base to kind of like smooth everything out and add a little bit extra strength. So I'm not going to go in with the builder gel today because I don't feel like I need to. I'm just going to do the rubber base. And you don't want to be flooding the cuticles when you're applying the rubber base or any gel product. You don't want it touching the skin because that's what can cause lifting and it's just not going to look as nice either. So make sure you're not flooding the cuticles and then also make sure you're not getting it on the skin on the sides. Sometimes it helps kind of like pull your nail skin to the side so you can like get in there as close as possible without getting it on your skin. what the 
rubber base gel looks like cured. I think it's such a beautiful product. Granted, I do have some builder gel underneath, but the rubber base with the builder gel, I think it's just such a beautiful combo. You can literally apply a gel top coat and leave it like this, and it's going to look so nice, like a nice nude, pinky nude. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go in with the gel polish here from Beatles. This is like a really pretty milky white it's pretty translucent so i do about two layers of this actually you know what we're not gonna do this you know what i'm gonna do actually <laughs> i'm like all over the place in this video i'm gonna go straight in to the red gel liner here so this is what it looks like i tried to clean it up a bit because for whatever reason it was kind of leaking i have a white one and a black one and that's great for french tip or things like that and I think I'm going to make little hearts. And the way that you do hearts, here, let me zoom in a little bit more. You do one dot. And then you do another dot right next to it. And then you bring them together. So kind of drag down. Oh, that was not cute. I promise. I usually do a better job than this. Let me try to fix it kind of like that. I think I'm going to do like one heart on each nail. I actually don't like how this looks. So I'm going to wipe that off and start all over. It is going to get rid of that sticky layer, but that's okay. The gel product will still stick. Okay, this works a lot better if you have one of those ballpoint tip thingies like nail art pens but I'm just making it do with this. So I don't know, we'll see what I come up with. I ended up doing teensy little hearts, kind of like what I did the first time around. And the last step is to apply some cuticle oil. I'm almost all out of this one. The dropper doesn't reach it, so I just kind of flip it upside down. I definitely have to buy a new one. I try to apply cuticle oil every single day to hydrate the cuticles so they don't look dry and crusty and all that. And just for cuticle health. But really happy with how these came out. I'm happy with the apex, all of that. And the, these should grow out beautifully. It should not have any lifting issues or anything like that. And overall, I'm just like really happy with the end result. We are Valentine's Day ready around here. What's up guys? It's much later in the day. Everybody is sleeping. I did a workout. I found a new Pilates type app that I'm really excited for because I feel like she's a professional instructor. I was using Melissa would help before this, but I came across this one. It's called Be The Method. And as she, like the workouts, I just did one, <laughs> mind you, and I'm like already sold. There's like a seven day free trial and I just already know I'm gonna stick to it and love it. But when she's guiding you through it, she's making sure that like your positioning is right and why and for what, like there's like, a lot of education behind it. So I feel like this one's the one, um, but I'm like, I'm like all pooped out and I'm gonna be taking off my makeup now. I believe it or not actually use this. I know I was cracking on it and saying like how useless this was in the Lash by Advent calendar, but your girl uses it literally almost every single night because I feel like it just really keeps I have two kitsch ones. Like these guys right here. But those are like the Velcro ones and you gotta like wrap it around and Velcro it. This one's like boom, your hair is up and you're done. So I don't know, I've just been it's just so easy I guess. The only thing I don't like about it is that it like slips off easily. You know, I look like a egghead right now, but we're gonna take off our makeup. So I do like a double cleanse at night. I start off with an oil and I do it on dry skin. So I kind of rub it all over on dry skin and then like gently work it into the skin, especially when I have a heavier type makeup days. I feel like it's really nice to just work it in there. And then I'll grab some water and go over with some water for a minute or so and then I'll wash it off as much as I can. And this is an oil so it's not going to wash off completely but I'm still going to go in with my actual cleanser, kind of like a two-step cleanse. Now I'm going to go in with a regular cleanser and just get off the remaining makeup. I don't dry my face, I apply it directly to wet skin and just really work this cleanser in 
get everything off and then wash it off. I've been meaning to buy those wrist thingies so that the water is not like dripping down your wrist but I'm like am I actually gonna use it like it's an amazing concept but it's just like another step where I'm like am I actually gonna use it what I'm doing now is going in with a makeup towel and just gently patting the skin dry or almost dry when it comes to the eye area and I have like eye makeup on I'll go in with an oil-free cleanser I actually just use this right here and just clean up as close to the lashes as possible because I don't want to use oils around my lashes since they, they're just going to fall right off. Oil in the lashes, these lashes do not mix. But now that my face is clean and before it's too dry, I go in with an essence. I love a milky essence. This one's from Dr. Circle. Yeah, the vegan kombucha tea essence. I'm running low on it. And it's one of my favorites. It's like a milky, creamy essence. Pat it into the skin. I feel like this really helps with dryness, get an extra layer to help with hydration. I need all the hydration possible. So this is just a product that I love using and I know a lot of people do too. So if you have dry skin, I'd recommend a Milky Essence. I know it's an extra step, but it's really nice. And then letting that kind of sink in a little bit. Then I like to go in with my CEO Glow Oil that I mentioned in the morning. And then this Sunday Riley Ice. And then about three, four, sometimes five days a week depends. I like to use retinaldehyde. Retinaldehyde is stronger and more potent. I don't know if y'all want to say stronger and more potent than retinol, but it takes less steps to convert. I had to look it up because I didn't want to be lying to you guys, but retinaldehyde is the closest thing to tretinoin. Tretinoin doesn't need to be converted to retinoic acid. Your skin can use it, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Retinaldehyde needs a one-step conversion to convert to retinoic acid. Retinols need a two-step conversion. And then retinyl esters are the weakest in the retinoid family. They need a three-step conversion. So these are all retinoids, but some of them need more steps than others. So retinaldehyde is kind of like the next best thing compared to tretinoin. I tried tretinoin, it's not for me. It's just not. This one's 0.05, I'm almost all out. And I just purchased the 0.1%. They actually came out with a 0.1%, which is a little bit stronger. Cause I feel like my skin can handle this really well. I think this is like my second tube trying this. And let me actually apply it right now. And then I'll just go in with the um, moisturizer here. It's like this yellow substance here. It doesn't really have a scent to it or anything. I did notice some dryness if I overuse it. So I kind of use it like maybe three times a week and I'm gonna plan to do the same thing with the other one. I can't do a tretinoin. I tried it, I tried it like three different times. I'm sorry, I know you guys have all these suggestions you can give me, I tried them all. Not for me. Let's just accept the fact that some products are not for some people. So if you struggle with tretinoin and you still want a retinoid, look into uh, retinol, retinaldehyde. I feel like it's a, the next best thing. Last step is some Sunday Riley Ice Ceramide Cream. Man, this stuff is thick and we are just gonna layer it on face neck and chest I do have a lot of stuff that I want to share about I'm doing an elimination diet right now for personal reasons I want to talk about that but I think this video is already so super duper long that like I did my nails I think that whole segment which I'm so happy with how they came out I think they're so cute and I love the apex and everything like they're not too thick they're really nice I love the length so I've been loving Builder Doll. Like those in high products are so good, especially the rubber base. Highly recommend it if you want, especially if you want some strength to your nail. They're so good. But I'm gonna finish this video here because I've been talking way too much. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Thank you guys for watching, and I really hope to see you guys in future videos.